Mrs. Barnes, 32, had arthroscopic surgery on her right knee today. She is currently at the medical day unit with an NACL 0.9% infusion on her left forearm at a drip rate of 60 milliliters an hour. She is expected to be released in a few hours after receiving intravenous antibiotic medication. The nurse prepares the antibiotic therapy, primes the tubing, and comes to the user's bedside to administer the antibiotic. Before she prepares the antibiotic, the nurse checks the user's medical file for compliance with the user's medication administration sheet, the FADM. Then, the nurse performs a verification based on the seven rights of use. The nurse performs hand hygiene in compliance with infection prevention measures. Once compliance and the seven rights of use are confirmed, the nurse primes the secondary antibiotic tubing. The nurse taps the syringe to release the air bubbles that may be lodged near the plunger. This step allows removing the air and preventing air bubbles from entering the infusion tubing and being injected into the user. The nurse unscrews the syringe cap and quickly attaches the tubing to the syringe. She avoids touching the end of the tube and or syringe to prevent contamination. The nurse slowly pushes on the plunger of the syringe, keeping an eye on the tubing to follow the progression of the antibiotic into the tubing. Air removal must be done slowly to prevent accidental waste of medication during preparation. Before going to the user's bedside, the nurse checks the table to make sure the antibiotic is compatible with intravenous infusion fluid in use. If the solutions are incompatible, the nurse should close the tube flow regulator and rinse the tubing with 10 milliliters of physiologic saline. And rinse the tubing with 10 milliliters of physiologic saline via Y derivation before and after administering the antibiotic. The tube flow regulator remains closed while the medication is being administered. The nurse performs hand hygiene in compliance with infection prevention measures before she enters the room. Then, she asks the user's name and date of birth and confirms with the bracelet information. Double identification of the user allows to reduce the risk of error. Hello. Hi, my name is Rose Lynn and I'm a nurse. The doctor prescribed the last dose of antibiotics before he can be released from the hospital. All right, can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? My name is Emma Watson and my date of birth is September 19, 1970. I'll check on your bracelet, that's it. Do you have any allergies? No, no allergies. Perfect. The nurse inquires about possible allergies to prevent administering any product that could cause an allergic reaction or anaphylactic shock. Before administering the antibiotic, the nurse needs to check the permeability and integrity of the infusion site. She assesses the presence of venous return and carefully examines the insertion site for signs of infection, redness, and or heat. She also makes sure the salute infuses properly and checks for leaks. The nurse releases the locking sleeve of the plunger prior to inserting the syringe. She inserts the syringe's flange in the flange holding device. Then, she opens the plunger holding the device and secures the plunger in its place. 
She then lowers the syringe holding device onto the barrel of the syringe. Finally, she inserts the fusion tubing between the supports to keep it from bending. Disinfection allows preventing the spread or introduction of pathogenic bacteria in the user's bloodstream. The nurse lets the alcohol dry for a minimum of 30 seconds to let the aseptic effect activate. The nurse uses the proximal Y of the primary infusion tubing. She uses the proximal Y because it is the most direct access to the user's vein. This way, if there is a reaction during administration, the nurse can stop the infusion and quickly rinse the vein with the primary infusion. The nurse programs the infusion pump according to the medical prescription and syringe type. The mini infuser allows for regular and consistent administration of the medication. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Your antibiotic is started. If anything feels wrong, ring me. All right, thanks. The nurse leaves the user's room.